Nothing yet. Why do you feel the need to get three chocolate croissants? Take your, take your run. Put this down in the middle. Unhealthy. Healthy. Okay. Bacon's healthy. Protein's definitely yeah. protein. And I have salmon, which is my favorite thing to get on a cruise. Favorite food. Well, quiche Lorraine. Oh no, no. Katie's having some granola. Good morning, everybody. Or I'm sorry, like, yogurt with granola. That's what I had to say. <laughs> Not even close. You guys, we're in Rome. We well, we're really in Cittivecchia or Cittivecchia? How do you say it? Anybody know? It's the cruise port for Rome. Anywho, we're waiting on Daddyo to come up. We have a great trip planned today in Rome, a great tour. We have a driver that we're supposed to be meeting um, any minute now. <laughs> so we'll see him or her very soon. Did we film the fact that we were like really late yesterday? Um, I don't know because I didn't take time to stop and film because we were late. All right, we have stepped in in Italy, in Italia. Roma, almost, Italia. <laughs> Look at the cleaning the ship. There's Leslie, our cruise director. There's Leslie, our cruise director. Uh, well, hopefully there's a sign that says Donnelly. Donnelly. If everything worked out correctly, see, there's gonna be a Donnelly sign. We are late sign. to everything all the time, and I don't really have, I mean, no shame, but like, but there actually is. I think I'm gonna fix my hair. There's Leslie, our cruise director. She's a god. <laughs> Um, are you excited to go to Rome? Huh? Are you excited to go to Rome? Totally excited. When in Rome, have you ever, Rome have you ever been to Rome? I've never been to Rome. Good. So this will be exciting. Neither have I. I've had a Roma tomato. Does that count? No. Can you hold this just like this? Sure. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm just fixing my hair. I'm not, yeah, I'm not your mirror. What? I'm not your mirror. No, you're not. The camera is. <laughs> Silly goose. Hang on. You're funny. I'm really excited to go to Rome. I'm pretty, I'm actually really excited. Yeah. Because like, when we were younger, on all like things that we would watch and stuff, uh -huh. I would like talk about Rome. Are you Thank, Thank you. you. It would like talk about Rome and like what what it should look like. What? There's a sign with our name on it. That is a success. Seriously? Right there. Yeah. Okay, starting off our day in Rome. Here's uh, Brennan. Uh, very excited. Clearly. Uh, here's Katie. Very excited. Also. Here's Ryan. Just delighted. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see how we do. Just, we haven't even started. It's gonna be a great day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, this is our first stop. This is a Vatican fountain. Beautiful. <laughs> this is the homeland, Brennan. We are looking over Rome right now. This is a war memorial, you guys, called, what's it called again, Rocco? Piazza Garibaldi. Piazza Garibaldi. Piazza Garibaldi, and you see him from Rome or die. Kate's getting some pictures taken of her. Her brother, Brennan, is so nice to do that. How you doing, Rye Guy? Good. This is the Pantheon, and Rocco told us that all of this, the columns and everything, were brought over from Egypt exactly. here to Rome. Exactly. By manpower and on a boat, I assume, right? You'll see the columns in the high side, it's a top. It's not one. It's oh my gosh, it's huge. And this is a church. There we are. Here comes Dad, and Brendan and Ryan. We're in Rome, peeps. When in Rome, Can you believe it? He's pretending he's the Pope. <laughs> this is called Navona Square. He's been lifting too. PA, it looks pretty strong. Look at the little pizzeria, little ristorante. Like if you were to, <laughs> if you were to teleport here, and you were still like you landed right here, would you know where you were? I would say Rome. I would too. I would totally be like, oh, this, this has to be Rome. Hey you guys, this is a great big wall right there that goes all the way around the Vatican Nation, which is where St. Peter's Basilica is and where the Pope lives. I'm not exactly sure what else is in there. We'll have to see. Well, I know the museums, the Vatican museums are in there, like the Sistine Chapel. See the lanes here, the line? Yes. This is nothing. When you come next month, it's two kilometers long. Oh, come on. Line. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Do we, we don't have to wait in that line, do we? We bought tickets early, which was a good, smart thing to do. So, Insane. Point, uh, tip number one, if you're coming to Rome and you want to see any of the fancy stuff, buy a ticket early. <laughs> we bought them online. 
We did not do that for the Sagrada da Familia in in Barcelona, and so we couldn't get in. In Barcelona. In Barcelona. We got more done in an hour and a half. I know. I know. We would have done all day. That's right. You know? I feel like I want to like be able to speak Spanish fluently, except I don't want to like actually take it. Right. You just want to be like hit in the head and and have it happen. Right. Yes. Bippity boppity boo. Right. Speak Spanish. Spanish. I'm about to see the boat. Yo, I hope we don't have to wait in that line. Harry Potter series while I'm waiting in that one. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's a long line. <laughs> we are currently outside of the Vatican. The line is like a trillion years long. Okay, so we are on the escalator up into the Vatican Museums. We just did our ticket and we through. We all have our little um, guide things. We have an American or no, an English speaking guide. Thank you, Katie. And we have these little machines so we can hear what she's saying. She's speaking in an Italian accent. It's very cool. There's St. Peter's Basilica. Alright you guys, we are in the Vatican Museum right now. Take a look at this ceiling. Ready? How cool is that? There's so many sculptures and so much art in here. It's a little bit hot, I don't want to show you. But look. No wonder he doesn't have a head. This sculpture dates back 2,000 years. Crazy. Guys, this is the Geographical Maps Museum, part of the Vatican. Holy cow. Look how long it is. It's so long. And look at how beautiful these maps are. Uh, 
pictures Granny Katie getting ready to go into the Sistine Chapel. She had to you cover have to up put her shoulders. My shoulders are covered. I have a That's scarf not. just in case. It might not be a Sistine Chapel. There we go. Oh my goodness. Finally, come on. It's not here yet. Oh wow. Like 20 it's been saying, yeah, Sistine Chapel for a long, long time. They know that it's the Holy Grail. They know that that's where we want to end up. So we decided, we went through the um, Sistine Chapel, and we decided to take a little break before we go to St. Peter's Basilica. Sistine Chapel? Oh no. Different than American. You Europeans are other than Americans. Get spray. Fantastic when it's right. When it's right. Alright, was the Sistine Chapel worth walking through all that stuff for? Yes? No? A lot of stuff? It was really hot. My hair and my legs are I agree. Do you think it was, the Sistine Chapel was worth walking through all that stuff? Yes. I mean, it's the Sistine Chapel cake. That's right. All right, next to St. Peter's, guys. I'm telling you, St. Peter's is amazing. I love St. Peter's. Oh, hey, Ryan. Did you eat chocolate? I don't know how Ryan manages it, but whenever he eats chocolate, he Every always time. he gets it all like over his mouth. I don't, it could be, though. and it could be a little something. It could be a big something. It doesn't matter. There he goes. Good job, buddy. Careful. This is how you exit. Uh, be careful. I hope you guys don't get dizzy. Whoa! How cool is that? That is awesome. Yeah, here he is. <laughs> you are the model, I think, for all of the um, uh, caution signs mm -hmm. throughout Europe. Mm -hmm. All right, we made it to St. Peter's Square. That's insane, man. What do you think, Kate? And the tour that we bought, the tour was supposed to take us through the Vatican Museum, through the um, Sistine St. Chapel, and then into St. Pe so Peter's Basilica. Well, we dipped out in the middle of the tour, and then we missed being able to get in the back entrance Let's to St. Peter's. Hang on. So now, I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's anybody's fault. We're not. All right. I'm just saying it was a family decision to yes. dip out of the thing. Right. But so now, but if we dipped out and we went through the correct door, we could have been in St. Peter's. But now there's a line that's like that's an hour long, long and we can't get in. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just saying the plan does not did not go as planned. But and Mama gets mad when the plan doesn't go as planned. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not upset with the situation. I'm not mad at any one person. <clears throat> you did a nice job planning, though. Thank, Thank you. you for planning all that stuff. Certainly, but I really wanted you guys to see we St. Have, Peter's. We have like Rocco. We do have Rocco. And you planned Rocco, and he's a god, and he's about to take us to the Coliseum. Right. Hopefully we'll have time to eat lunch. I don't know if we will. Do you know what time it is? No idea. Hmm. But, um, well, Rome, there's, there's just too much to do. I was, um, I watched this video, mm -hmm. and I was like thinking about how we could do it. Except we're not going to Pisa, so we can't do it. <laughs> but there was this thing on Instagram or something. And people who like pretend to like lean on the Tower of Pisa like this. Yeah. And so the guy would walk by and his friend filmed and he would high five everyone who was standing there like this. Like So he ruined their picture? No, I mean oh. there's there was like there's like you can take another picture. Oh okay. But he was just like high fiving everyone who was doing that. That's I mean, that would be cute. fun if we did that. That would be totally fun. But when I got oh people, nice like, job, Brennan. Yeah, Brennan's taking a picture of his sweet little family. Good job, B. <sighs> He's an expert picture taker. He takes pictures of you all the time, Kate. All right, you guys, we just discovered the Coliseum out the window. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, that's good for me. But, like, <laughs> all right, let's go. Ryan, you and I are gonna spend like a week in Rome next time we come. Yeah. <laughs> Goofball. <laughs> it's eat time. And look at the restaurant. Look at what oh, we're yeah, looking yeah. at. Oh, yeah, yeah, 
I forgot about that. <laughs> Brennan. There's something called the Coliseum. Our driver Rocco brought us here, and it's um, a restaurant that has really great views of the Coliseum. So we're pretty excited about that. We ordered ahead because we don't have a lot of time to Donnelly style before we go on to our next tour, which starts in about 40 minutes. So we kind of have to hurry. But it's very exciting. So we are at a restaurant that Rocco recommended, and look at this food, oh my gosh. We got uh, mozzarella and tomato, we got a margarita pizza. You guys, this is awesome, olive oil. We had two spaghettis, and meatballs, and bruschetta. Oh my gosh, hello Rocco. Oh my gosh, this is great. Thank you. I feel like I should have the more. Oh no, you're right now. Alright, here we are having uh, lunch show. Lunch show. Oh, There's Rocco, our awesome yeah. tour guide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we have a killer lunch. And right outside the Coliseum. Just loving life. All good. Oh my gosh. It's so great. Italian olive oil. Kitty, you full? Oh my gosh. What's your favorite thing? It's untie my What's your favorite thing? Oh, it's balsamic, oh, not all of It's really good. What did you say? What was your favorite thing? Everything. I like the pasta. I like the whatever this is. I like the pizza. Did they match your gold last time? Ryan, your favorite? Pizza was good. Pizza killer? Oh, second. People get spaghetti. Yes, okay, awesome. Good job, you guys. Heading off to the Coliseum. Guys, we just finished lunch, and now we are on our way. The Coliseum. Look at this is what it looks like outside the Coliseum. I don't know what that is over there, but it's very cool, whatever it is. It's very old and ancient looking, isn't it, Ryan? Okay. Ryan studied the Coliseum in school and knows a ton about it. And this is his this is his Shangri-La, his Mecca. What he wanted to see when we were here. <laughs> Alright you guys, so our trip to Rome has been a little bit of a disaster. I mean not really a disaster for you guys but for a disaster for me. Oh, it's been a disaster for all of us. <laughs> well we didn't make it into St. Peter's and then we had lunch which was fantastic yeah. but then we came to the Coliseum and our tour had already gone so we couldn't get in the tour so then we had to go in the big huge line to get tickets to come in and we only have an hour here. Well so we went to the guy and said hey our tour already left. He said oh you can go to the front of the line and buy tickets. So we wait and wait and get in the front of the line and we go to buy tickets and I realize I don't have my credit card with me because I left it in the car because I didn't want it to get stolen. This is where we're supposed to be. So we had to go all the way back out. We had to call the car. Dad got mad at us because he didn't want to come in. Anyway, it's been quite a disaster. Now I only have my 20 minutes. Only have 20 minutes. So we got our credit card. We're back in line now to buy tickets. So hopefully we're gonna get a chance to at least go in and see the Coliseum from the inside. Thank you guys for being troopers. I know you're hot and tired. Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry it turned out this way. You know, when you're in Rome, you wanna to try to do everything. So here we go, we'll see. We're, our goal is to get a picture of the inside of the Coliseum. Sound good? All right, we're gonna get, it's gonna happen. We're gonna make it happen. All right, you guys, we're in. Wait till you see, it's a pretty awesome view. We can only see it up here, we'll take a right, we'll take a look. Just seeing it, I'm just to Brandon! <laughs> Pretty crowded, huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Brennan, can you see? Okay, Ryan, let me get a picture. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. Can you get a picture, Pete? Oh my gosh, I love it. What? The sit all Ryan, tell Brendan where the people sat. All right, Ryan knows like pretty much everything there is to know. You were just talking about. Yesterday we were talking about yesterday how like all the sound like bounces. Mm -hmm. All the sound, so these it's like a perfect circuit. So high. Oh yeah, exactly. Well, not perfect, but like near perfect. Mm -hmm. So they'd actually uh, the Coliseum was so strong they used to fill it up 
about halfway with water and do naval battles. Like they bring ships in and they circle each other and they both had cannons on one side and then No, what if they hit the people? No, the people were up there. So it usually can hold sixty thousand. Like, <laughs> <misfiring. laughs> One can just like splunks the guy out of the sea. Like he's sitting up and he like moves out of the way to avoid it, but he falls over the end. <laughs> that probably happened. Then everybody cheers. It was Rome, ancient Rome. All right. <laughs> This is so cool. So this is walking like along the aisles of the Colosseum. If that's the, yes, that's the auditorium or whatever you call it. What do you call that? Like the stage? I don't know what you call it. Like if there's processions in here and then you walk through these arches right here. Uh huh. To your seat or if you're standing position, people don't really know if they sat or stand. Right. Oh, sat or stood. I bet they sat. They probably did. This is much better than the pictures I saw on the internet. Uh huh. <laughs> much better. So cool. They're just holograms. <laughs> it's not real. Yeah. All right. Ryan just said I don't want to leave. <laughs> I know. This is your this is your uh, your jaunt, right? Is that the word? You can yes. Yes. Thank you. thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. You can use it ever. Trying to be cool, mom works. <laughs> this, no, you this is your vibe, right? Are How about that? How about you like being here? Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's the good word. Perfect. I'm just saying it. It's Don't very take cool. anything from Katie. No, I'll stick with you. All right, you guys. Rome has been saved. Did we save Rome? It just does not make any sense. I think we. Well, it was a disaster before, like literally a half an hour ago, and then we went into the Colosseum. Yes. We saved our Roman our trip to Rome. Yeah. That was cool. Do you like that? See. Si. Si, yeah, do you like that? Great. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. And it was uh, nice and quick. Yeah. Uh, I have some energy back because I ate that pasta and pizza. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. I, I can get... walk and semi function. Now we've stopped at Circus Maximus. This was chariot racing. And it's kind of like the sister stadium to the Colosseum. Legend has it, you have to put it in your right hand. Ready, you have to put your coin in your right hand and throw it over your left shoulder. And if it makes it in the water, you come back. Hi Rob, coming back to Rome. Katie on the other hand fell asleep in the car. She might not be joining us. Stop. See, this is famous Spanish tip. Yeah, how are we gonna get back up? It's our good workout for today, right? Okay, it's not that many. It's not that many, you don't think? Okay, well, yeah, there's like a bunch. It's kind of a lot of steps. All right, Ryan and I are counting how many steps. Here he comes. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Thirty-six. Yeah, I think that main thing, the main thing was a hundred. Yes. Yeah. Then it was just like thirty-six. Then thirty-six more. more at the top. Much to Brennan's delight, he's loving watching the soccer on the ship. It's been super fun for him. I think it's Columbia playing right now. But anyway, in the meantime, we got back on the ship after our amazing time in Rome that turned out to be amazing. It was a little bit uh, sketchy there for a while, but it ended up being amazing. There we go. We are leaving Rome right now. Bye, Rome. Thank you so much. Can you see those chairs in there? Yeah, that's actually a sick shot. <laughs> no, it's not. 
so sorry. <laughs> but I'm happy that you didn't spill any on me. Uh, you might need to go change. <laughs> I might need to, that, uh, I just, I, and I literally just did two I loads did. of wash. Katie Elizabeth. It's pink it's, lemonade, so it'll probably like, come out. It's like in my pants. Like I'm squeezing <laughs> it and it's like coming out. Oh, don't do that on the carpet. Okay, well, well you, should you should go. You should go. I don't walk around <laughs> with my heels and I'm like, I just <laughs> peed myself. <laughs> that is not good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's in my shirt, too. <laughs> <laughs> she was making a nice butter tower, and next it's thing you know, you need to go. I don't know. Well, do you want to sit and eat? Should I walk around like this? Yeah, you can put a little skirt on. Just tuck it in the front. No one will ever notice. But you'll notice from the back. No, you won't. Oh, maybe. <laughs> you have a little bit of an issue, Deborah. Uh, let me go get her. Huh? Get some, what, what do you need? More napkins? Certainly napkins here. Hold on. Pot? Yes. Sippy cup. You really put a top on my cup. I didn't. Deborah did. She didn't want you to spill again. <laughs> oh my goodness, we just came home from dinner and look at this on our bed. This is so cool. Every night when we get home from, um, when we come home from dinner or our evening out, we've had turn down service, which means they come in and they turn down the sheets. They give us chocolates. They fold our pillow, which today looks like it's an elephant. And since tomorrow is the 4th of July, they always prepare us for the next day. And tomorrow's the 4th of July, so they gave us American flags, which is super duper fun. And then this is where we're gonna be tomorrow, near Florence. And this is the what's called the Navigator. This is all the information for tomorrow and all of the activities and times and character appearances and parties and that kind of thing. There's a little map of Florence and some shopping information in case we want to go. So it's really, really cool how they really anticipate your needs and think about what you might want. And maybe I'll actually get a chocolate this time. Mike's been eating all the chocolate. So I'm here a little bit before him, so I'm gonna probably grab the chocolate. <laughs> Ryan, you look cozy comfy. Crab. I gotta tell you, sleeping on a cruise ship is and the best sleep I ever. I love it, cause like the waves like slightly rock the ship. And it's just like little baby carriage just going back. <laughs> and the beds are so comfortable. Oh. This is literally a couch bed. Oh my god! But gosh. it's the most comfortable couch bed you'll ever sleep in. That's awesome. Good pillows too, right? Oh, oh great pillows. Lovely pillows. <laughs> All right, let's wind down. Let's do the yard. Yeah. Oh, we're tired. We had a big, 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 big day. If you guys watch the full vlog, you will know that we had a big day today. Yes. And what would you say of all the things we did oh. today or that you experienced oh. today or anything? What made you happy today, baby doll? Definitely. Oh, Rome was beautiful. All the architecture, all the history. All the cool things and places to go, which is great. I say top three favorite things was the Colosseum, uh -huh. Vatican Museum, oh. or the Sistine Chapel. I mean, okay. And I liked the Trevi Fountain. <gasps> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, coming in close fourth is the Circus Maximus. Yeah. The chariot racing. Very cool. Oh my gosh. I have to say what made me happy today. I was really pleasantly surprised with our friend Rocco. Oh yeah. Rocco that was, was awesome. A legend. That was awesome, yes. He was like oh, He was man, great. He was like God and a half. Alright, cool. Alright. Alright you guys. I hope you had a fabulous day today too. Mm-hmm. Alright, wanna take us and out? St. Peter's Square. Alright. Oh St. Peter's Square. I mean we were so Oh much. yeah. Oh god. Highly recommend Rome. And Naples. Yes. And Pompeii. If you can get up on Mount Vesuvius, it was amazing. And tour Pompeii. Um, I kind of a lot to do. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm driving too much. Come on, me. You guys have you. We'll see you tomorrow. Boop.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.